Well, welcome back to my channel, and this is now part 8 on this video game, and I love it. Always changing everything, what a costume and everything. But it is exciting, so one of these main quests that I noticed is the one that I want a low amour. So let's go and go all the way over there to talk to Gwen with me, and let's go. And persuading. Oh, hello, good sir. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Mm -hmm. Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course <laughs> not! Yeah. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Alright, that's going to now. Whoa. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, hmm. take the moon. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever right. since that fateful day in the village, those curious right. statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. Mm -hmm. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? Hmm. <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. Mm -hmm. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead mm -hmm. has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, mm -hmm. and thank you. 
Alright, get a lot more hearts. Let's see. Alright, we can do that one. And let's make it. And there we go. A lot more hearts. Now I can open all kinds of locked doors. Alohomora. There you go. Alright, so alright, so uh. Alright, so Disillusionment charm, so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. And there we go. Alright, so retrieve. Right. 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 right, something in there. Right. Oh, sneaking or locked door. <laughs> Hello, Hamora. Let's see here. Additional fi figures. All right. All right. Mm. Revenue. 
What is the new one? Caught you sneaking about, didn't I? Dang it. Dang it, ding it, ding it. Try again, try, try again. Yeah, I think I do not know. Like Hello, Homora. Poorly, I'd say. Is that so? We're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the mm -hmm. difference between Arcanite and us. No need to worry about it. Second time again. For a little sneaky. Uh, perhaps not. That's right. Again for second time.
This must be the prefect's bathroom. wing on account of my venomous tentacular not at the moment no plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way though well i suppose i should begin my rounds now i suppose professor <laughs> disappointed about quidditch being cancelled huh. i had plans to get a few galleons on the hunt <laughs> Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Anyway, I had high hopes for Hufflepuff. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rule. It's a majestic thought. Encompasses the whole of the human condition. Oh, how's that? Well... All of the teamwork and uh, flying about and the golden snitch. Rather a lot like life, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. Why can't I get on the way? Revelio. fortunate to have a student brave enough to... Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the yeah, moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. <laughs> but that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my mm. tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Mm. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. Right. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Right. Keep an eye. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. All right. Quest done, and do I get to close to the town on? Oh, it's up like this. So. No. Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in the mental <clears throat> class. Let's see. Yeah, that's one. Right. And ten this. What do we have here? I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my yeah. tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? Hmm. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know, Professor. At times, the future is murky to us all. As with rippling water, one must wait for things to settle before the reflection becomes clear. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I for one see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. There we go. Another spell. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Hmm. All right. So, sign this. So, a contemporary. Descender. Excellent. I think you have it. <laughs> That's powerful. And let's begin the quest. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, 
none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Uh -oh. Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Yeah. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> Right. You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, right. and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Right. Oh. Right, this one is the Hold to sign. Oh. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. Right. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Alright, tap that in. Make that. Oh, happy, happy, what happy. What do you happy. suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. Yeah. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Yeah, of course. <laughs> good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, the measles are over here. All right, measles, measles, measles. Oh, couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> oh, it's a little interesting. Ah, stupid thing. Ah. Oh. Just tuss peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Yeah. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Right. Persephone was on to them instantly. Right. Thank so. you for your help. Let's carry on. Right. Feed and brush the measles just as you did mm. with Gerald. Mm. And feed the two. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when mm. they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Oh. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Of course. Right. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? Hmm, enjoyed it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. 
probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. Mm -hmm. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. All right. I need to talk to you. Come here. What? You need to talk to me? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again. Mm for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. Hmm. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Hmm. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Mm -hmm. You've intrigued me. Very well. Yeah. Lead, the way. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. It's going to take long or what? <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. That magnificent beast. Please meet High Wing. Mm. Isn't she just magnificent? <laughs> Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's mm. going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Is that food? Um, yum, yum, yummy. Come, go, go, go. What did you think of High Wing? Hmm. She's brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer hmm. story. 
but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. Mm -hmm. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, mm. so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Sounds that does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is yeah, power. Information and the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Yep. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? Yeah, um, I actually have some moons for you. Oh, my mind feels lighter already knowing those statues are gone. I did promise to show you how to improve casting Alahamora once you'd brought me enough yep. moons. Yeah, oh, with that knowledge, you'll be able to break open even stronger locks. Mm. However, we don't yet know who's behind these statues. <laughs> Still plenty of the foul things lying in wait to torture me. Oh. If you bring me more moons, I'll show you how to cast the most powerful form of Alahamora known to mm. wizard kind. Mm. Uh, at least known to me. All right. Keep looking for those moons, hmm? You'll save my mm. sanity and we may get to the bottom of whoever's behind all of this. Yep. That was the end of this part. Eight on the video. And I've done some side quests and everything. So, and I say my mouth again to be a little more strong and everything about the health. So, I'm going to continue on and speak with Simon at the Feast of Boomstake. Continue on the main quest there. And then do some more side quests now. And it's fun to unlock a little more and get an up. And I'm gonna collect some more than that on my own. I will so have to show you. So, so like me and watch it to the end. Thank you. And please subscribe to me. Thank you. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.